हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ जे मेन सॉन ट्वेंटी थ्री अ पार्टिकल ऑफ मास टेन ग्राम मूव इन स्ट्रेट लाइन विद रिटार्डेशन टू एक्स सो पार्टिकल का मास हमारे पास क्वेश्चन में दिया है दैट इज टेन ग्राम एंड द इट इज मूविंग इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन विद सम रिटार्डेशन सो रिटार्डेशन इज ऑल्सो गिवन टू एस एस एल एशन इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू एक्स दैट इज द रिटार्डेशन नेगेटिव साइन इज इंडिकेटिंग द रिटार्डेशन देयर देर एक्स इज द डिसप्लेसमेंट इन द एस आई यूनिट्स द लॉस ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी फॉर द अब डिसप्लेसमेंट इज गिवन टू एस टेन अपॉन एक्स रेज टू पावर माइनस एन जूल्स फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एन सो एन का वैल्यू हमें यहाँ पर कैलकुलेट करना है सो बेसिकली हेयर वी यूज द सिंपली द वर्क एनर्जी थ्रो मैज वी नो दैट वर्क इज इक्वल टू चेंज इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी बट इन दिस केस लाइक द वर्क डन इज बेसिकली वर्क डन अगेंस्ट द फोर्स ऑफ रिटार्डेशन इज बेसिकली इक्वल टू लॉस ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी सो वर्क जो हुआ है यहाँ पर वर्क डन वर्क डन अगेंस्ट वर्क डन अगेंस्ट फोर्स ऑफ रिटार्डेशन so that body is being that particle is being retarded so work done against and force of retardation is basically equal to loss in kinetic energy so that will be the concept there so work done against that force of retardation is equal to loss in kinetic energy so here we simply calculate the work done and then equate that uh, work done in, uh, with the loss of kinetic energy and loss of kinetic energy is given in the question so then after equating these things we will get the answer for n so as we know that for works first of all we have to write the expression for force so retardation force is simply like f is equal to mass into acceleration so acceleration is minus uh, 2x this is the expression for your force then we can easily calculate the work done so work done is basically the integral of that force that is m minus 2x as a displacement is from 0 to x body is being displaced moving in a straight line where x is the displacement so obviously displacement is given to us that is from 0 to x and uh, this is the expression for work done so we can solve this expression so like minus 2 and m are constants so, so we have to integrate this is like x square upon 2 and limits are from 0 to x so this is the work done against the force of retardation because body is being retarded so some work has been done against the force of uh, retardation so due to that uh, there is a change in kinetic energy or we, we can say that there is loss of kinetic energy for that uh, displacement there so from here we can say that that minus m x square is basically the work done against the force of retardation from 0 to x displacement and this work done is basically equal to loss in kinetic energy and loss in kinetic energy is also given to us so we'll equate minus m x square is equal to 10 upon x raised to power minus n squared as uh, this is simply a loss of kinetic energy so we'll simply take the absolute value of that means uh, we can write this as mx square is equal to 10 upon x raised to power minus n so this is a uh, loss of kinetic energy this is also loss of kinetic energy so we'll we can equate them for the particular case or for this problem so value of mass is given 10 grams we can write it as a 10 into 10 raised to power minus uh, 3 kg because uh, this answer in joules so we have to use the si system so it is written as x square or here the expression is 10 raised to power minus n and uh, here we have x raised to power like minus n it can be written as plus n because x is in the denominators so uh, after mm -hmm. simplifying this we are getting 10 minus 2 x square is equal to 10 minus n and x raised to power n so obviously on comparing the equation we can easily say that that n is basically equal to students n is basically equal to 2 there so answer for the n is 2 there because if n is 2 our equation will be written as 10 minus 2 x raised to power 2 is equal to 10 raised to power minus 2 and x raised to power 2 so obviously n is equal to 2 is the answer for this problem thank you